How's it going, everyone? I'm Nostalgic Dave, and welcome back to The Crooked Man. Do I have to sleep? Do I have to go to sleep? I don't want to go to sleep. <sighs> Fine. No, I really don't want to. Okay, you know what? Bye. 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 No reason to. There's plenty of reason to get. No. I'm not. No. Let me. Ah. Uh, fine. Is that reason enough for you? Why did it turn on by itself? Is it broken? Oh, yeah. Totally. Sink. Okay, note to self, don't go near the sink. Um, what the hell? This is creepy. Yeah, no shit. Did it say sink? What was that? Uh, I'm gonna go to bed. Night. Ignore the sink. I, I, I'm not gonna bother with the sink. I don't care. Ugh. <sighs> A sink. Yeah. Yeah, that's exactly what it is. I... <laughs> hmm. There's a scrap of paper under here. Okay. There was a crooked man and he walked a crooked mile. He found a crooked sixpence upon a crooked style. He brought... He bought a crooked cat which caught a crooked mouse and they all lived together in a crooked little house. Yeah, that's a Molly Goose rhyme. Yes, actually. The rhyme itself is a little bit different from what the game's pre presenting, but yeah, it is. Why is this here under the sink? I guess the previous ten... <sighs> if all this is really the previous tenden tenant, then I want to hunt down the previous tenant and cut his ass off. <laughs> no, not his ass. Cut his balls off or something. So much strange stuff. I should just sleep and forget about it. Yes, because that's real wise. Moving for a change of pace, huh? Guess that's not working so well. You know, really, really, I can tell. I appreciate Paul and Marion's help, but... Okay, if you guys listen hard enough, you'll probably be able to hear it. If you can't hear it, there's a child crying. Is that what that is? I have that or laughing. I can't tell. Is that a kid I hear this late at night? What kid would live in these beat-up apartments? You're asking the wrong person. <sighs> Maybe they're lost. Yo, oh, well, let's check that noise. That very mysterious noise. Uh, of course. Of course there's silence. Of course there's no kid here. Must be getting tired. Oh, yeah, yeah. I'm sure that's exact. Ugh. Do I have to? You know what? Nope. 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 Oh, that's, that's not what I meant to do. No, there, there's plenty to do on the first floor, I can bet you that. Fine. Uh, excuse you? It's a broken cup. Jeez, that startled me. Wait, what? Help me. Coffee spelling it. Y you gotta be. No! This room is really, really strange. That's a word for it. With its voices and TVs turning on. What is this? <laughs> I 
Uh, hi, Paul. It's David. Yeah, what's up? Man, you sound sleepy. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, um, what was up all last night? I gotta ask you something. Is now okay? Yeah, what? Do you know who used to live in this room? Nah, I don't know. You asked the landlady? You curious about something? Well, seems like he forgot a lot of stuff. But I'll ask the landlady, sure. Later. The landlady's on the far end of the first floor. We'll just see what she knows. Okay. Also, why did I never clean this up? That actually is gonna bug me. That is gonna bug the hell out of me. Hello? I'm just gonna waste time knocking on the same one damn door. Okay, you know what? No, fine. Not annoyed yet? Fine, I'll leave you alone. Ugh, fine. I just wanna annoy somebody. Also, what the hell? Hello? Oh, it's Mr. David. What seems to be the matter? Good day, miss. I just wanted to ask something, you see? Okay. About the room I'm in. Can you tell me anything about the person who used to live there? Hmm. Well, you know, these apartments always have people coming and going. Now, what was that boy's name? Uh... I believe he was a man about your age. He suddenly left about a month ago. Said to leave the furniture and use it, however. You wouldn't know where he went. You wouldn't know where he went? I never heard that, no. Really just up and left out of the blue. Uh, that makes me want to leave up and leave and out of the blue gone by. <laughs> I just can't remember that name. I could rummage through my documents to find the previous tenants if you'd like. N no, there's no need. I was just a little curious. Thanks. I'll see you around. Cause that's what I want to do. Sorry. Sorry. I wasn't afraid. Oh, wait. That's... I'm pretty sure I'm not the one saying that. Bye. A man about my age. I could only wonder what he was like. Oh, well. I'll go back to my room. Uh, if I can go upstairs. Oops. That is not it. No. Bye. See ya. Bye. I don't want any part of this. Hey, uh, landlady, you can have the key back here. I'm just gonna drop it in front of the door. Just knock, knock, just so you know, and I'm leaving. Bye. No reason to go. Oh, there's plenty of reason, didn't you? I don't want to be here anymore. I do not want to live in this hell hole. Fine. Why are these tracks on the floor? They lead up to this wall. See, is there something in this crack? Ah, oh, the brass key. You know what? This key is pretty fancy. I doubt it's for anything in here, so I wonder where. Um, you know what? I don't want part of this. Can I leave now? Maybe find a better apartment. Something that's not gonna screw me over. Is that cool? Maybe? The guy's voice. The kid's voices. The mirror writing. The TV turning on. The copy. <laughs> it's like a poltergeist or something. Don't say that. But I would have thought the landlady would mention this kind of thing. What's going on here? Not that I much care if there were ghosts here. Nobody would be too bothered if they haunted and killed me. I'd... I can think of two people. At least. At the very bare minimum. 
Well, I wonder about the scrap of paper. What was the man who lived here like? Did this stuff happen when he was here? I don't know. Not much use thinking about it. I'll call it a day. But... With all the sh ugh, Fine. I have a feeling I don't got a choice anyway. Oh, I don't like that sound. You guys are lucky enough not to be able to hear it very well, but oh, jeez. Why? Where's that coming from? Is it from inside the house? Uh. Uh. Well, there's nothing new that I see. Yeah, I don't see any new items. Alright, let's just move left to right. What is this? Okay. Aha! Uh -huh. Oh! Okay, I can still hear it. I'm moving this far away from my head. Okay. Let's turn that BS off. And, no, it's still going. Radio? What's, why is this in my closet? Not to mention it turning on by itself. Are we done? Is it off? Okay, good. <laughs> hmm? There's something on this paper here. It's an address. Our special place. Where that supposed to be? I don't know if I want to know. Got a paper with an address. Oh, yeah, let's just keep it. Just cut. Why not? Here. I wonder if I can... No, I probably can't. Law school leaflet. What? Why do I have all these? Why, 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 why? You know what? Screw you. Alright, well... I'm going to take the wild guess it just wants me to go to bed again. That's the pattern so far. Um. Excuse me? Uh. I'm. I'm waiting for you. What? Why did. How? When did. <laughs> it's about damn time you left. Took you long enough. So, you sleep well last night? Sorry you had to sleep on the couch. Nah, I should be sorry for coming over so late. <laughs> well, not expecting it, but I'll sweat it. But hey, did something happen? You don't look too hot. Oh, there's no particular re- Oh, yeah, definitely not. Oh, it's not like I felt like I was being haunted or anything. Oh, no. Maybe I felt like intruding into the newlyweds' love, le love nest. Hey, why you? <laughs> I'm just kidding. You don't joke about that. At least the real me wouldn't. Seriously, though, you can tell me if anything happens, okay? I'll do whatever I can for you. All right. <laughs> I'm glad to know a guy who looks... Oh, my God. I'm glad to know a guy who looks out for his friends. Hey, you making fun of me? No. That's not making fun. That's not, that's not even poking fun. I look at making fun a bit more stern than poking fun. That's why I say that. But yeah. I heard from Marion... Sorry about the Shirley thing. I told her off for that. Don't worry about it. It's not Marion's fault. Well, it's not about whose fault it is. I'm just not happy about it. Don't let it get you down, alright? I know you've got your mother to look after. 
but I think it's time you move on and look for new people. So I'm single. Or in the game, I'm single. As if a guy like me could find a date. A guy like me can. <laughs> Sorry, in game me. I don't mean to brag. <laughs> I'm just some clerk with a mom in the hospital. And the girl I wanted to marry ran for me. That's horrible. Man, don't be such a sissy. You keep up that moping and you'll have your own personal rain cloud. <laughs> well, I'll be careful. Oh, so I'm going to go on a little... No, 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 don't. Okay. If I'm going to that address that was on the piece of paper, I swear to God. Don't want to waste my vacation, you know? Ooh, great idea. No, it's not. Where are you going? Just somewhere I was wondering about. I'll call you when I get there. Sweet. Send a postcard. Nah, but don't, actually. Breakfast ready, Paul. David, will you be eating too? Nah, I'm not hungry. I'll be going. Aw, that's too bad. Come by any time you like. Okay. There. Looks like this address is in the mountains. What a five-hour dr- Of course I'm going to this address! Did the former tenant go here? You know, when I said get out of the apartment, I didn't mean get out for the night and then go back in the next day. I meant permanently. And I wasn't meaning get out of the apartment to go into the other house that you have no idea where it is. It could have the same kind of haunting. This is a bad idea! I just want to ask him about this room. Maybe he'll know something. He'll... Oh, hell. Not hell. Hell. I'll go right now. Can't stand this place anyway. Yeah. Don't come back. Prologue. David's room. End. Wait, what? This is being done in chapters. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. This is being... Just getting started. Oh. <laughs> Jeez, it's gotten dark. This is the place, no doubt. Huge place. Looks like a hotel. Would he be here? Can we just not find out and leave? Guess I'll just have to check. No, I won't. I'm gone. Bye. Are you kidding me? Can I not leave? I don't want to be here. I don't want this as an option. At this point, I feel like we're going to need to spastically save since... Hotel Ruhenheim. Oh, so it actually is a hotel. Okay. Giving you a serene stay. Uh. And I'm just gone. I'm just gone. Can I just stay under this spot? Is that okay? Can we just stay here? Not go anywhere else? That'd be fantastic. <sighs> Fine. But we won't go into the hotel until next episode. For right now, I am going to leave this video here. So thank you guys so much for watching this episode. If you liked it, push that like button and so far you can't sit anymore. If you really liked it, consider subscribing to the channel. Looks like we're finally going to be getting into the good stuff as next episode. So make sure you don't miss out on that. Um, if you want to check out any other RPG, horror RPGs that I've done prior to this game, I'll have a link to one of them down over there. This game itself will actually be across my head over here. However, in the meantime, I'm out, but I'll see you guys later. Bye!